Thank you very much for staying with us. Let's do business now. The Ghana gas processing plant at Atuabo in the western region, uh, which was shut down for a 10-day mandatory maintenance works, has been brought back on stream. The plant has begun producing 75 million standard cubic feet of gas on a daily basis. The Ghana Gas Company on September 1, 2016, shut down the gas processing plant at Etoabo in the western region for a 10-day maintenance work. But the plant has been brought back on stream, producing 75 million standard cubic feet of gas daily. We took only five days to do this job. Somebody may ask, how come it that you finish in a much shorter time than the, the time that you put up for yourself? This is because of the experience that you've gained over the, over the past uh, few years. The nature of, of the plants, uh, the overhead compressor, every 4,000 hours we have to do a shutdown. And this is the third one. So after the 12,000 uh, hours of operation, we have to shut down to do this work. It was planned in advance. It was not due to any emergency or any uh, problem that we had, but it has been programmed early in the year that this maintenance work should be done. Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Gas Company, Dr. George Sipayanke, says power generation in the country would be improved. Uh, APS to come in Kruma can only give us 18 million because of the current bearing challenges that uh, Talu has. So once they solve that problem and they're able to give us 120, Ghana Gas will be able to take the entire 120 million scrap of gas from uh, the APSO. So our plant is stable, our plant it's working, and, and I want to tell Ghanaians there's no cause for alarm. He said even though the Volta River Authority owes Ghana gas over $350 million, that will not interrupt consistent supply of gas to the VRA. Meanwhile, the Ghana Gas Company uh, Limited has built a second standard overhead compressor unit at a cost of $9 million. The compressor unit is to serve as a backup any time the turbo processing plant is needed to shut down for mandatory maintenance works. Early January 2016, the Ghana National Gas Company started construction of a second standard overhead compressor unit to help in situations where the first compressor is shut down for routine maintenance works. The $9 million project is from the company's internally generated funds. The second standard overhead compressor unit, engineer on the site Robert Latte says, would be completed by end of October for commissioning. During a tour of the Etoabo gas processing plant in the Lembele district of the western region, engineers say work on the second standard overhead compressor unit is about 98% complete. Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Gas Company, Dr. George Sipayanke, is optimistic of efficient gas supply. I want to believe that this mandatory shutdown after every 4,000 uh, hours is going to be the last one. We have in place the equipment and components for a second overhead compressor. When that is installed, any time one does 4,000 hours, the other one will be brought into service while maintenance goes on. So these five days, one week, ten days, periodic maintenance or monetary shutdown will be a thing of the past. He disclosed regular closure of the gas plants for routine maintenance work had financial implications on the company as it is often not able to condense and transport lean gas to the Volta River Authority for power generation.